This video is brought to you by our eStore, good deals by KLGG. You can now pay for your favorite gadgets by 0% installment with your credit and debit card from 100 ringgit up to 6 months by checking out with IOU Pay. What's more, get 10 ringgit off and free nationwide delivery on your first purchase. Visit the link below to find out more. Now as you can see right over here, the D4 Mini is a really small and cute microphone and it retails affordably at US $50 or if you're in Malaysia, it retails for 230 ringgit. Now despite its really small size, it still comes with a really big windshield as you can see right here which can withstand wind speeds of up to 20 miles per hour which is actually really incredible. It also comes with a shock mount and it stabilizes the microphone if you are running with your camera and so on so it's actually pretty cool. Over on the left side here, you will find two 3.5mm ports, uh, one is for output to your smartphone or camera and the other one is a input which is interesting because you don't really see this port all the time on mini microphones just like this so what happens is that when you are using a single output right over here it records in stereo sound whereas if you input another audio source such as a smartphone audio or if you use another wireless lavalier mic or any external recording devices onto the input mode the original output will be switched to the right channel whereas the input the additional input will be assigned to the left channel so it kind of create a mono sound recording but otherwise it will always be recording in stereo sound and now let's do a sound recording test on the D4 Mini and later compare it with the D4 Duo. Now the reason that I want to compare it to the D4 Duo because I personally feel that this microphone is also a really good starter vlogging microphone that has both front and back recording. But of course, it's a little bit unfair because since the D4 Mini can't record voice on the front, but still, it's going to be a really good comparison to find out how well their sound quality really is. So of course, we are going to start recording indoors and later head over outdoors to find out how well these two microphones resist wind and ambient noise. And now this is a sound test of the Daily D4 Mini and I'm actually two feet away from the camera right now as the mic is now mounted on top of the camera. So we are using a Sony A7C to capture this footage and currently the sound volume on the camera is set to 17 which is a medium level volume and this is how it sounds like. Um, unfortunately the D4 Mini doesn't have a gain knob control so you can't really adjust sound volume on the fly so you gotta depend on your camera's volume setting in order to increase the sensitivity if you actually needed it so next let's switch over to the d4 duo and now before we move outdoors this is the sound recording test of the daily d4 duo which is a really great duo microphone that records sound both front and back now of course i currently have the front microphone disabled right now so it will be fair to the d4 mini right there so um, when we tested these two microphones indoor, we do not have their windshields on so you are actually hearing all the ambient sound that's around the studio right now so I'm not sure how that actually sounds like you be the judge and tell me how it sounds like in the comment section down below and now let's head over outdoors um, to quickly find out the sound recording test of these two microphones Alright, and let's continue the sound test with the D4 Duo outdoors right now so currently I'm actually walking outdoors and you might actually find my sound a bit muffled right now because I'm wearing a mask. It's kind of like procedure now. Otherwise, I might get summoned. You know, I might get fined. So it's not really a good thing right now. It's COVID period, guys. So don't really come out. But I'm just coming out to do this simple recording for you guys to hear how it sounds like on the D4 Duo. And next, let's try it out on the D4 Mini. And now this is the sound recording test of the D4 Mini. I've actually moved to a quieter part of the mall. Right here we actually have a mall. This is actually a pretty dead mall. Don't know whether you guys know that or not, but yeah. Um, this is a quieter part of the mall, so you will not hear a lot of uh, wind noise right over here. But we actually have both windshields on these two microphones when we do the sound test earlier on. So do let me know what you think uh, of the sound quality between these two microphones in the comment section down below. So there you have it, this is a really quick review of the Daily D4 Mini Microphone. I really think that the sound quality is really good. I've actually heard it before and I find it to be really, really decent. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on what you think about it, whether it's a good microphone or not. And personally, I think it's a no-brainer because it only costs 230 ringgit, which is rather affordable for someone who wants to start out vlogging and want a good microphone as compared to your camera's internal mic. So that's pretty much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming right up on KL Gadget TV. Subscribe to us and follow us on social media. I'm Warren and I will see you in our next video.